If you're administering a wireless network, you'll want to go to your access point and make sure that your wireless signals are set as low as possible on your strength meter. This is because you don't want your wireless signals going out to the parking lot. You don't want those signals overlapping what might be happening in the suites and the offices that are around you. You only want to get access to the people that are in that local office area. There's no reason to send that signal out any farther than you need to. The problem is that you aren't ever quite certain exactly how low is low. You don't exactly know how far to turn it down. So it may take some testing. You may need to do some trial and error and make sure that you're able to see exactly how much you can turn that down, but still maintain the throughput you would expect on your wireless network. You also have to think about the location you're in. You have to think about where your access point is located and think about what things might be around you. Are there walls? Are there devices where this might bounce off of a metal filing cabinet, for instance? And sometimes it may not even help. These high gain antennas that somebody can use out in the parking lot may make it very easy for them to listen in on what you're doing. So this isn't a foolproof security method, but it's a best practice for making sure that your wireless network is set up optimally. Of course, you may have multiple access points yourself. So setting the strength of these wireless access points may be optimal just in your building itself because you have multiple access points all communicating and using the network. Let's look at this blueprint, for instance. We have a very large office area. We may not be able to cover the entire office area with one or two access points. We may need multiple access points. So we might configure them to use different signals and different strengths to make sure that we can blanket everything evenly. Here's one idea. We can have a channel 1, channel 11, channel 6, and back to channel 1. Notice that none of our channels are hitting each other. Channel 1s are all separated out. Channel 6 is separated from channel 11. We've made sure that our signals are turned down just enough so that we can have that overlapping without having the signals conflict with each other in different parts of the floor. And then we would put up all of the different access points to make sure that no matter where you were in this environment, you've laid out and gotten the perfect strength of signal and the perfect coverage for your signal for the entire floor.